Hi, and welcome to Framingham Fan to Fan, a sports talk show for people of Framingham. We're going to talk about all things Framingham sports in this show. And my name is David Hornfisher. I'm a Framingham sports fan. And who better to uh, talk about sports than a sports fan, right? Uh, our show is going to go, has a goal of, uh, of creating more interest in local sports. You know, we all can go to Boston to see a professional event. But, you know, it's so impersonal. But if you go to a sporting event in Framingham, you might very well know the players. I really never knew David Ortiz, okay? So let's, let's support our Framingham sports teams. And the subject today is a very interesting one. It's volleyball, and more specifically, women's volleyball. And I have with me three guests today from the Framingham State volleyball, women's volleyball team. Uh, first one is Vicki Anderson, a, uh, a senior libero. Got that right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> from Attleboro, Massachusetts, and Bishop Fian High School. The next guest is Mackenzie Whalen, is a junior setter in volleyball, and she's from Norton Mass High School. And third over on the far side is Deirdre Fay, an outside, a sophomore, and an outside hitter from Cornwall, New York. Women, it's great to have you on the show. It's terrific to have Framingham State represented, and, and so uh, in such a positive way. I think maybe the best way to get started is to have each of you uh, tell me a, a little bit about how you got started in volleyball. Uh, uh, you, your parents probably always wanted a volleyball player in their family, and I, I picture they, they bought you a volleyball outfit at two and had you hitting balls over the living room rug at six. And, no, but seriously, how you got started, uh, uh, maybe a little bit about your high school experience, um, why you chose Framingham State, and, and briefly just kind of your role. I, I defined your title. But uh, we'll, we'll talk a little more about the specifics of that, but uh, just a little bit about that. So, uh, Vicki, why don't you start? Um, okay, so I started playing volleyball when I was in fifth grade okay. because my sister played before me, okay. and I just always looked up to her, and I kind of wanted to play okay. with her. So, just did that. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then throughout high school, I was libero, which means I was like the defense person. I wore a different color shirt, and I was uh -huh. just always passing balls and falling on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh -huh. so, why did you come to Framingham? Um, it was pretty easy because I got recruited when I was a junior and um, I'm an elementary ed major so it's just mm -hmm. easy to go to Framingham. That was a natural transition, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So recruited, so that must have been, you must have been pretty good in high school. I mean, I was okay. Oh, you okay. <laughs> I mean, everyone has to be so modest. You, you were probably on the all tournament team, the all something like that? Yeah, I was. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> well, maybe I'll bring a little more out of you. I think modesty, I have a hunch, is going to be too, going to be too, too great of a value here. Uh, um, nice job. Uh, uh, Mackenzie, tell me a little more about your volleyball. Um, so I started playing my freshman year of high school, actually. I yeah. really didn't know anything about volleyball, just looking for something to do to huh? get on my college resume. And <laughs> I picked it up pretty fast. I really liked it. So I just started playing my freshman year and never stopped. Uh huh. And you came to Framingham then because? Were, yeah, were you um, recruited too? I was. I wasn't recruited until my senior year. Uh -huh. I really had no interest in Framingham at all. My dad actually went here when uh, <laughs> he was in school. He graduated from Framingham. And I had no interest in Framingham. He filled out a recruit me form on the website <laughs> without my knowledge. And oh, our assistant coach, Shelly, came to one of my games and talked to me. And she invited me to come to uh, watch them play. Uh, at Framingham against Bridgewater, and I turned the corner onto State Street and loved it. Like the second I turned the corner, I was so surprised, and mm -hmm. that's how I ended up here. That's terrific. And uh, Deirdre, tell us a little bit about your start in volleyball. Well, volleyball actually started with my mom. She ended up getting a full ride to Fairleigh Dickinson. Okay. So then, as, as a volleyball player. Yes, as oh, volleyball. Okay. So it started way back when, and then my So you were the one then who was playing over the, over the kitchen yeah, table or something? Yeah, because I had two older sisters play before me, and then one oh, okay. after me who's playing high school now. Okay. So it started early on when my sister came home from school with um, a pamphlet for the volleyball club, uh -huh. Uh -huh. the local one. And then it just went on from there. All and you the played way. in high school. Was it was Corn you were from Cornwall, New York? Was yeah. was that a decent sized high school? Uh, yeah, about a hmm. uh, thousand okay. kids. Okay. Yeah. And then the team was pretty good. We'd go to states every other year, about, uh -huh. and it's 
still keep, keep going. It's pretty good now. We'll see how my sister does. And, and the Framingham recruiters were after you too? Or? Yeah, junior yeah. year I started uh -huh. talking to Coach and then from Coach there. Coach Caselli? Yes. Yeah. And then I came to campus because my aunt lives in Marshfield. So my parents were comfortable sending me so far away. So then I came here, I loved the campus, just like Mackenzie, it was mm -hmm. beautiful, and then here I am. I'm getting a real sense just, just from hearing you, uh, you talk about the, the recruitment, that there's a reason that Coach Caselli has been so successful. I, I, I know I'd read that the team has won like 20 games for the last five years, and uh, well, was that a factor in your wanting to come here, the fact that the, you were coming to a successful program? Or? I think so. I mean. Mm -hmm. When I was in the recruiting process, I really didn't want to play for a bad team. You know, you want your team to be successful. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I came and I saw them play and I saw how competitive and talented mm -hmm. everyone was and uh -huh. it was a major part in my decision. Uh -huh. Yeah, for me looking at schools, all the schools I looked at, that's one of the things we'd look at, the stats and how successful they were, so uh -huh. definitely. And, and, and as a specialized player, as a, as a libero, you, you, you probably had some choices, right? No? I mean, I did, but like no? I got recruited as a junior, so oh, I was a, ju a junior in high school. Yeah, so really? I just kind of decided oh, okay. right away. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, I guess there's a reason, though, that the uh, you know the coach isn't here, but he but he may see the show, so I, I kind of wanted to give you a chance to say some nice things about the coach. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he he was going to be here too, but but he thought that the program would get a better representation by having some of the real people. And so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thrilled to have you here. Um, you know, volleyball is an interesting sport. It's um, it requires certainly an athletic skill, uh, requires a lot of, uh, uh, and, and yet I think the average person doesn't quite, you know, if you ask, walk down the street and you say, name your favorite five sports, volleyball might not make the list. Most likely not. No. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so, but tell me a little bit about, why don't we start over here, tell me a little bit about what, volley, what about the excitement of playing volleyball is to you. Is there a, uh, I don't know, just talk a little bit about that. If there's, if there's people, if there's young women out in the audience who would say, whether they were six like you or about to enter high school or whatever, and what is it that, that, that makes volleyball something that you want to spend a lot of hours every week doing? I think the whole team aspect really does it for me. Because like, we all work together and we help each other. Like, we tell each other, like, oh, you did a great pass or you can get it next time, that kind of thing. I mm -hmm. like that camaraderie. I feel like uh -huh. with basketball, it's a lot of, like, you can have a ball hog who just like, takes the ball and right. does everything. Uh -huh. But with volleyball, you can't really have that. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just. It, you said you played basketball for yeah, a while. Yeah. Um, uh, I was always like playing a different sport growing up. I played soccer. I did swim and dive. I was basketball. I was a gymnast, and I loved all those sports. But I really didn't like find a true love for a sport until I played volleyball. Mm -hmm. It was just. It's just such a fun sport. It's something about it. You pass the ball, uh, you make a great set, and your teammate gets an amazing kill, and you just celebrate together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely about the hype in it, the enthusiasm, and the fast pace, because there's not a lot of time between plays, so you just keep going, and it's a lot. And with what Vicky was saying with the team, because you can't touch the ball twice, so it really is all about the team. I mean, as a, as a sports fan, uh, until a few years ago, when my granddaughter got playing uh, volleyball in, in high school, I'd probably, I have to admit, I probably never would have thought to go to a volleyball match. But then I saw her play, and she played down in Austin, Texas, and, I, and then I went, went to a match at, at, at the University of Texas where you know, there was, and then, and, and then, and of course, the Olympics, I think, give a lot of visibility to it. Um, do, do you get pretty good, is there much student interest at, at Framingham State in coming to watch your matches? Or? Kind of. Yeah. I mean, are there 50 people there, 100? Yeah, we get a lot of support well, from the other athletes, a uh -huh. lot of, a lot of the okay. other sport, sport teams and uh -huh. our parents and family, of course. Uh -huh. But yeah, I'd say 50 about yeah, a game, okay. maybe more. And, and w would it be great if a lot of Framingham people came up and watched you guys? Yeah, absolutely. Is, that, is it going to cost me 50 bucks to come no, in and no, see you? No, it's, no? It's, yeah, free. it's free. It's free. <laughs> oh my goodness, you, yes. <laughs> you said the magic word. And the crowd definitely <laughs> makes us play better. Yeah, so yeah. Like we, love, we love a great crowd. Yeah. 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 Well, I promise you, will, I, I will threaten that you will see me there. <laughs> <laughs> see sometime before the year is over, if not more than once. Because, uh, uh, so, so tell me about when you play. And uh, if I did want to go, uh, you know, Framingham State, to the, a lot of the people that live in Framingham, is just kind of this big mass of buildings up on the hill. And, uh, you know, it's not exactly like going through Cornell, maybe, but uh, um, where, t tell, tell me where you play and when you play and uh, 
how would I uh, go about finding out wh when I can come and see, see one of your game, your matches? You don't call them games. You have three games yeah. as a match, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, I'm not see. I'm figuring this out. <laughs> I've learned something. No, no, sir. Why don't you? Why don't I hear from the senior here on this? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, um, our schedule is up on the Framingham State website, mm -hmm. so you can go there and find out. Is that fsu.com or fsurams.com? Fsurams.com. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I want to point out your shirts here. Which <laughs> are, are those? Your actual game shirts? No, they're no? not. Oh, okay. <laughs> they have to go to the game to see that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I find the cool so, so okay. So I go to my computer. I look at fsurams.com and I see you're playing on. When's your next game? Your um, our first home game is September 5th. So the, okay. This so this Tuesday. show will be after that. So if I wanted to go see you play in October. I find the game. Do you usually play on Tuesdays or? Yeah. Yep. Tuesdays, Thursdays. Mm -hmm. There's some Saturdays. Wednesday games thrown in there, and, and then they occasionally we'll have a Saturday tri match, which is two games played on the same day. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, against two different teams? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. And the other two teams play each yep. other? Yes. Too? Oh, oh that would be fun. So I would take all day. Yeah, <laughs> so they're long days, long Saturdays. Okay, so, so I find out it's, uh, it's on a Tuesday. I, I've got the date. And, and now where do I find the gym on the campus? I come up uh, State Street. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And then you turn at the yep. admissions, admissions building. Okay. Yeah. And then you just go straight past the admissions building. There's a little road that goes, and then you go to the left. And, and you play in the same yeah, building yeah. the basketball team plays? Yep. Yes. On that same court? Yep. Yes. The athletic center. There's two center. floors, and mm -hmm. there's even a snack bar there. And yeah. It's yep. really a lovely building. I had a chance to go to a business meeting there one time, yeah. and I was impressed with it. But uh, Oh, yeah. So so that's a great facility, and there's bleachers to sit on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is there a chance for me to buy a beer or a... Uh, or no a beer. alcohol. No beer. Oh. Oh, no, no how can I, do that? <laughs> I I knew that. Oh, but, but, but there's a snack bar. I could probably buy a hot dog, so I won't starve. Yep. You know, a little guy like me, you know. Oh, okay. So all right. So, so so I go to the game and I see the game and they they throw the and and when you play volleyball, I'm telling this uh, a lot because I suspect some people in our viewing audience have never seen a volleyball match and they are making a mistake. Okay, they they they, they, they really are. So uh, I I go to see the game and or I go see the match and a match consists of. Three games, right? Mm -hmm. And the first game is what? Each game is 25 points? Yeah. 25. Is it, but I thought the third one was less. Or is that only um, in high school? We so do we, three out of five. Yeah, we play best of five. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. best of five. Okay. So if you go to the fifth set, which okay. is like the deciding set, right. you play a game to 15. That's what I was thinking of. And, yeah. Okay. And each game's 25 points. And uh, okay, so when the game starts, the referee throws the ball up comes over the net, and I'm on the other side, and I'm a big, tall guy, and I whack it into the middle. Tell me what happens in a, in a perfect situation. In a perfect okay, yeah, situation. Yeah, I'm probably, <laughs> hit, th th this is gonna be like who's on first, okay? I take the ball and I hit it to who? Me. You. Probably. <laughs> okay, and you're right down there, nice and, yep. uh, if you saw her, she's probably the shortest one of the of the players here. And, and don't, don't, don't take that as embarrassment. That's no, not a put down. No, I embrace my shortness. No, no, you, no, you should be, because that's important in this job, right? Mm -hmm. Because as you told me before, you're close to the ground. Yep. And I'm hoping the ball's gonna hit the ground and you get your hands under it, and then what happens? Yeah, I just like pass it up to You McKenzie. flip it up in the air, <laughs> and, and it goes up in the air, and you come racing I across. I come in, and I would set it to a hitter. Set it? What do you mean, set it? Like set your hair? No. 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 So <laughs> you take the ball, you mold your hands to the ball, and you push you it push out. You push it up in the air about how high in the air? Over, over your head, right? Yes, about okay. five feet <clears throat> above the net. Okay, and you're the outside player, and you come charging in from the side. I, I've seen some games where the, on some of the college, some of the uh, tournament games that I watched on television, that, the outside person sometimes stands way back, mm -hmm. and they come running up. Yep, with their approach. Right, and, and, and they come, they take a flying leap. Yep, and then you try to find the block, go around it, find a spot on the floor to get okay. the point. And get the ball and drive it into the, drive it right at somebody who's libero, whose job is yeah. to get it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, and then she gets the ball and she hits it way in the back. And then what happens? You have somebody in back of you, right? Is that your job to go back and get uh, it? So you have to the side? six players on the court, yep. so you have a front row and then a back row. Uh -huh. And if the back row takes it, then it would be my job to go anywhere and get it. Okay, and get it and then try to get it to her. Yeah. And, yes. and yes. you have a counterpart on the other side of the court. There's yeah. two of you. Yep, one yeah. right behind Mackenzie while right. she's okay. setting. Right, okay, so, and, and, and this is a really fast-paced game. I mean, I was, just, I was just amazed at the energy and the power that, 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 that goes into uh, into these matches, and you know, people used to think. I mean, I think of back when I used to play volleyball, you'd hit it over the net and you'd move over one place, and <laughs> yeah. it was just about as boring as could be. But when, when I started seeing this, I thought, oh my goodness, this is fun! And especially when, it, as as the match gets closer and the and the crowd gets into it and it starts to 
score gets closer. I imagine you get energized oh, too, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So energized. Yeah. <laughs> Very exciting. Yeah, get awesome. loud and yeah. you start yeah. calling balls like crazy and it just gets... And when the ref makes a mistake, it, there's no replay, right? No. Not in um, <laughs> our level. I don't even think D1 has it. Or maybe they do. I think okay. Division One has a, yeah, a uh -huh. replay ability. Be a challenge. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So, so Framingham State is Division Three, mm -hmm. and you play in the uh, the long the conference has a long name M M A. Mass. We call it MassCAC for short. M, -M A M A. Massachusetts. And no, it's M. What is it? M A C A S M A S C A C or something. Yeah. Yeah. MassCAC. Right. Yeah. And and you play people like Bridgewater State and uh, Westfield and yep. uh, Plymouth. Yep. And no, we don't play Plymouth. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you play any, do you play any teams from really kind of out of the area, or well, would you play Amherst or um, no. some other Division well, three well, school or Tufts or? We um, went to Tufts. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really all about like how your athletic director and coach want to schedule yeah. your okay. games. Mm -hmm. like, we, we try and play tough teams mm -hmm. to be as best as we can and uh -huh. ready for our conference uh -huh. in the beginning. So, so. so you play a season of about how many games? Like 30 -ish? About 30. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Probably yeah. a little more than 30. And that's the regular season. And then at the end you have, you have a league tournament? Yep. yep. And, and, and your team has made that. You're the senior. You've probably been on in a bunch of those tournaments, <laughs> right? Three. And, and where are they okay. usually held? Um, usually it goes to whoever won in like the regular season. Oh, okay. so like Luckily so. for me, it's always been at Framingham. Really? Except for like so you won your league the year. last three years, and or two of the three years you've been here. Yeah. That's great. And so the <laughs> tournament. Oh, so, so that's real. So when's the tournament held? That's really when I should really get people in Framingham. It's that, I think it's, it's the, the first, first Saturday weekend. in November. In November. Okay. Yeah. So it's before Thanksgiving. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And and the tournament goes over. Uh, is it all all over in one weekend? Are they? Yeah. Uh, one one Saturday. So, so, oh, it's all. And so how many teams yeah. are in the tournament? Um, the first five, five. teams. Yeah. I think the okay. first. Uh, five oh, so, so that's a full day. Uh, you you don't play five games. Then. No. no. So <laughs> the way it works would be like the third team, third place team, and the fifth place team would play each other, mm -hmm. and the fourth and uh -huh. the right. They, they, sixth. That's kind of like yeah, a little sixth. yeah. Because the first and second teams uh -huh. have a bye. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And so after that tournament, is there another tournament after that? Uh, is if there you, an Eastern Regional if you win the MassCAC? Uh, if you win MassCAC, we have a bid to NCAAs, so we play okay. in the national championship for Division Three. And you've been there? Yep. yep. You have. And where's, where was that held? Um, my freshman year was held in New Jersey. Okay. And then it was New York, but like uh -huh. upstate New York, uh -huh. like bordering Canada. Okay, up near Clarkson? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Actually, I think that's where it was. Oh, okay. And then last year it was at Tufts. Oh, okay. And uh, so, so the teams for that come from all over the all over the country, or just the Northeast? Northeast, usually. Okay, so as far west as New York or High Pennsylvania. Yeah, the yeah. further you get into it, the more distance is between each. And then is there and, and is there a tournament then beyond that? That would uh, involve, that would involve the California. Yeah. So the national the, championship yeah. would be it. So. If, say, hypothetically, we were to win our um, regional yeah, right. section of yeah. NCAAs, we would go to the Elite Eight, I think. Okay, which is held somewhere in the somewhere country. Somewhere in the in country. The country. <laughs> and and have, you, have you got to that yet? No, not yet. And, and that's your goal. <laughs> that's the goal. That's, yeah. that's the goal, right. So uh, so you were telling me before that you've got, a, you've got only a couple seniors coming back on the yep. team, but, but, but you're optimistic. Very Every yeah. team is at the start <laughs> yeah. of the year, right? Yep. I mean, you're not going to be happy if you just win more than you lose. Oh. You're, you're, you you want to win 20 matches, probably. Yeah. Well, you want to win them all. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. And, and, and who's yeah. your toughest opponent, do you think? In our conference? Is there a rival? Um, probably Westfield. Probably. Westfield. Yeah. I mean, Westfield. are there a lot of people who went to, who, who are from Westfield that came to Framingham and vice versa? We have uh, some uh, <laughs> Western Mass people, but yeah. none from Westfield. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay, um, so what are you going to do after, so let's, talk, let's get a little bit educational for a minute. Why are you, what are you, what are you studying at Framingham State? Elementary ed. Yeah, you, 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 yeah. you told me that before. <laughs> so are you doing an internship or something like that too? Kind right? of. Uh, in your senior year, do you go to another school mm -hmm. somewhere? Yep, yeah. so second semester I'll just be in this elementary school the whole time. Have you got one picked yet? Or? Nope. Okay. <laughs> and yourself? Uh, I'm studying psychology. Ooh, okay. And the psychology of this show is. You know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, and so you have a career plan after that, is it? Uh, yes. So, mm -hmm. so you're a junior. I am a junior. So in psychology, you need to get your master's degree. Uh -huh. uh, but f I want to go into sports psychology, which is uh, basically helping athletes overcome injuries and okay. their mental setbacks. 
and, and addicted uh, fans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you would need actually a doctorate degree for that. Uh huh. And I, ideally, I would like to go to a D one school or maybe even professional level and be a sports mm -hmm. psychologist and okay. a strength and conditioning coach. Well, that sounds like a plan. And, and you're only a sophomore, so you're yeah. still figuring this out, but you, but you got a goal. Yeah, I've got a major in uh -huh. food science, and okay. right now I'm just doing the basic studying uh -huh. for, I mean, basic chems, just working my way up to a lab, working with food. I mean, that, you know, that's, that's got to be one of the real pluses of sports, because I have a hunch that if you weren't all on the volleyball team in a school with, what, 5,000 students, like, or is that other 5,000 at Framingham State, something yeah, like that? that. With a school that big, the three of you probably would never have met, right? And so, yeah. I mean, you know, you'll be with your education people and you'll be with the psychologists and you'd be over there fixing up the kitchens and all that. And, and, and you wouldn't have come together. But because of volleyball, you know, your teammates and when I hit the ball over, you all knew how to attack me. So I, mean, I, think, that's, I think that's great teamwork. Uh, let's just, since this is a Framingham community show, what's it like to a Framingham State student living in Framingham? Do you, do you get involved at all in, in, in the community or have any... Or, go out to restaurants around here? Or what are some of the things you like about being in Framingham? I, I, I heard somebody, when I interviewed somebody else from, uh, from Framingham State, they said, well, one of the real pluses of, you know, of recruiting people to come to Framingham is, is, the, is, is, the, is the now to be city, Fra city of Framingham. Uh, uh, what, what have you found good about Framingham when you've been here? It's like a lot of stuff to do around Framingham. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So you don't have to just sit in your dorm and be bored all the time. So give me an example. Um, like, I don't know, last year when I was studying for finals, instead of just studying in my room, I went to IHOP that had okay. just opened. Okay, right. And I studied there. Uh -huh. Have you ever been to the Amazing Things Art Center, any of you? Sir? Do you, no, do you know no. about that? Mm -mm. It's a little firehouse that does music concerts three almost every night. Oh, wow. do, do any of you play music or no? Do no. Music? no. Okay. Not musically. Right, yeah, well, uh, but anyway, I mean, they, they have. I, I used to host a comedy show there, so but, but they have. Uh, they have it's got a little firehouse, got a hundred seats. They have folk music and jazz, and uh, sometimes rock shows, sometimes comedy shows. It's right in downtown, just south of the tracks. Uh, what about yourself? About Framingham. Um, I like the proximity to Boston. Uh, mm -hmm. We've taken the, yeah. the tea a couple yep. times into yeah. Boston. Yeah, it's very convenient. Yep, and uh, like Vicky said, there's so much to do around here. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm from a very small town. Uh, that's where Wheaton College is. Yeah, Norton. Is. Yes, yeah. and I can tell you those students are probably bored out of their minds. Yes. There is right. nothing to do in Norton. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I visited that campus once. Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty campus. It's pretty, but there's but not much yes, going on. Right. Yeah, and so, so the fun in Framingham, is it clubs, is it... Uh, just other the people around, or yeah. uh, the mall, um, or you, you just, do you all go to the mall? Oh yeah. Yeah. Most, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Cheesecake. Okay, the cheesecake factory. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> we love that. Okay, one last one here, Deidre. How about yourself? Um, normally, just during the warm weather, I like to go for runs through the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So that's uh -huh. nice having the campus around there, and also have the, the hill. Yeah, <laughs> and how. Like the football field and hockey stadium, like they're mm -hmm. not right around here. They're like spread out, so right. not just a like campus. Like we're expanded around, mm -hmm. so it's nice having that. Yeah, it's nice having the football games at Bowditch Field now. I, mm -hmm. I love to go to those. It's a short walk from my house. I try to go a lot. Now I have to go to volleyball games, and pretty soon I'll be interviewing basketball teams. <laughs> uh, so, so what are some of the other sports at Framingham that I should be wa that I should be watching? You said the other people come to watch you. What do you go to watch at Framingham State? All of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we try. We, very we try to visit like every at least once. Like go to. Like, so this one time of the year you got football and soccer and. Uh, football, men's soccer, women's soccer, yep. uh -huh. and field hockey. Field hockey. Okay, where where do they play? Do they play on the on the Maple Street? Yep, field? they play on Maple okay. Street. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, and so, are, are are you sports fans when you're not banging volleyballs around? I mean, do you uh, do what, what what sports do you do? You, do you watch sports on television? Do you watch the usual? Uh, Oh yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you Red Sox fans, Patriots fans? Uh, well, I no, you're a New Yorker. So <laughs> yeah, no, I, you're I, so I, I, you, you almost didn't make the show, but, I, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, well, let's let, let, let's talk amongst us kids here for a minute. You're so yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I like the Patriots. The Patriots, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, my dad grew up playing football. I'm a uh -huh. diehard Patriots fan, uh -huh. and uh, he played hockey for a little bit too. We were really into the Bruins, also. Uh -huh. so. so do you go to? Yeah, so yeah, just, you, you think the Patriots are going to go 16 and 0? 
I this is going to so. be on television now. It's probably going to be on in October. I hope they so. lost six times. I know, I know. But so, I mean, yeah. I'll say I hope. I hope okay. so, yeah. Not they will. Yes. I hope. I hope. I had somebody here who said he hoped they didn't because it would put too much pressure on him in the playoffs. But he said he hoped mm -hmm. they lost early. Yes. And then we'd all stop mm -hmm. asking that stupid question that I just asked. Okay, now let's let, let, let's get into our trader over here from New York. <laughs> uh, did, did, did you grow up a Yankee fan? Yes. yes oh, yes. no. Oh, <laughs> oh, I knew it. I could have been a Mets fan, you know. <laughs> Hey, if they were doing well, you got to cheer on the Mets too. I love it. That's that's fun. No, I, I think sports rivalries are great. I mean, that, that that's really what makes sports. I think even at, even you know, in a school like yours, I think when you look at the standings and you see all of a sudden that one of your opponents has won six straight and they're coming in to play you and you played them and well, you, you know, you played them last year and mm -hmm. somebody hit a spike that hit you in the nose and she's standing <laughs> there and you know, <laughs> you know, some of that come yeah. into play a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sense of, I, mean, I mean, rivalries yeah. are really, in all honesty. What, what makes sports fun yeah. because it, it just energizes everything and if you can get a fan base. Do you watch the Olympics? Do you watch volleyball in the Olympics? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. it's really cool to watch. Uh -huh. yeah. Have any of you ever played sand volleyball? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, yeah. Side. Yeah, my granddaughter took a shot at that. It was fun watching her play. It was usually cold when she was out there. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh -huh. it's better than when it's in like the dead heat and like your feet right. are burning. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. too. You know, uh, there aren't many schools that I have sand vol volleyball programs. Huh? Would, would you have considered that or didn't I you play? You would have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Uh, well, I'm expecting that you're going to go back and tell everybody at Framingham State about this terrific television station that's in Framingham. Absolutely. Okay, AFTV, Access Framingham. Uh, we, we want all the students on campus watching because I know when, and, and we're, we're, I'm going to go up there with a big sign, I think, when the show's on, and just walk around campus and say, <laughs> with, with, with pictures of you three, these, are, these women are on television tonight in Framingham. <laughs> No, uh, it, this has been great talking to you. you. You've really energized me about a, a even more about going to see one of your games. Or, or, and, and, and if you do well, I may even go to a second one. But, and, and, and I'll bring some people. I'll um, try and bring a crowd. We'll all, all wear black and gold. Go yay, Rams. Is, yeah. is, yeah. is there a fight cheer for Framingham State? Go Rams. Go Rams. Go Rams. Put your Rams, up. Your Rams. Put your Rams up. Oh, oh, wait a minute. No, no. Oh, okay. I, 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 I've got hook yeah. em horns that was like, it was like this, okay? No, you got to get them. a little bit. Curl them. Oh, you curl them. Yep. yep. Now you're I, I mean, Rams. if you have arthritis in the fingers, it helps, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, th thank you very much, Vicki, Mackenzie, and Deidre. You, you've been great guests, and it, it's been really fun talking to you, learning more about volleyball, and I think this is going to be one of our better shows. So. Thank you for thank having you. us. Yeah. Thank you. Well, you're welcome.